Music City Multicon in Nashville, Tennessee. This is where my booth is. It's going to be a beautiful thing because I got the people coming in right there. Gonna see them. But unfortunately, I got this thing not looking at me all weekend long the entire time. The fact that I have my back turned right now, I'm safe because I can see it through the reflection. But as soon as I turn this thing off, it'd be bad, be bad news for me for sure. And where I'm about to be open with my lovely cloth that I use at conventions, <laughs> right next door, is my friends at Masterson's Games and Collectibles. So it's kind of cool having a video game booth right next to mine. Something familiar here. And they got the magic word, two for five dollars. I'm okay with that. Are they worth it though? They are. I see a few. I see that guy right there. Bigfoot's a bit faded. Tag Team Five, Wrestling. Four or more. I'll include a nice icy Dr. Pepper. See, look at this. See, if I buy four or more, a nice icy Dr. Pepper. Is that a Nashville thing? I mean, we have Dr. Pepper in the Northwest, but... It's Louisville, Kentucky. It's a, definitely a Louisville thing. We'll okay. I'll some ice cold Dr. Pepper. <laughs> After you exhaust yourself digging for games, you just need a nice refreshing beverage. I think you do, because you get kind of the spaghetti arm by shuffling games out of the way, trying to find the good stuff. Anyway, there's some good stuff right on top, though. Yeah. So that's good news for me. Yeah, this is our excess stock. We just want to get out, you know, make sure that we... Uh, Games into the hands of people, not in my store. Okay, well, then you know what? There'd be a lot of people coming in looking for video games today, so happy about that. And happy to see the games over here, too. Games like Dr. Chaos, you don't see that too often. Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum, a game that's funner to say than it is to play. <laughs> and this guy, I was just looking at my copy of this game, and my, my copy's terrible. It's like super grungy and dirty, so I might need a label upgrade there you go. on my Clash of Demon Head there. And the CIB stuff, of course. First print run Castlevania, not bad. And in great condition on that one too. I always take them out of the plastic protectors because they go with us everywhere. Right. The cases get beat up, but the games are great. Well, and that way when you put your ice cold Dr. Pepper on it, yeah, it won't, yeah. the condensation won't spill into the cardboard and you know. Oh yeah, and these are like mouse pads? Yeah, those are just mouse pads. Or just, that's cool. Yeah, I like the uh, texture on these, that's fun. Yeah, I always go for the stitched ones because they're just like way better. I got that rare exclusive uh, black uh, Sharpie uh, oh, <laughs> pieces yeah, loaded three variants there. Gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed though. You got Time Lord in the two for five dollar bin when it should be behind the glass case, uh, you know, pristine, it, it highlighted. <laughs> you, you disrespect my Time Lord, I'm telling you here. <laughs> well, I'll put that, that'll be a deal for someone else. I recognize these guys because I recognize that signature right there. Good to see these guys here. Always nice to see some friendly faces, including got some greatest stuff. And then right over here, you even have a Hold on. The gold N64 with the controller. That's tempting. Seeing good prices over here. 10 for Spy vs. Spy. I like how Roller Racer is only 20. There's got some good, some good deals here. Got Star Trek for, for 20? You know, I do need a Legend of Zelda to put in that new case, the uh, the new label. So I might have to grab that one for 20. Got some other little kind of loosey odds and ends here too. Still for four bucks. From these guys, Danville, Illinois, huh? Smart, smart idea to do this. Always looking for more of these. Always looking for more Game Boy Z's. If you have extras, smart. It's a whole bunch of Legos. This is kind of cool that they have this kind of USS Enterprise set, I suppose. Great variety of arcades here as well at Music City Multicon. I'll go over just a few of them anyway. You know, before I had VR, this was my VR. Battle Zone, you just look through that visor and that's how you play the game. It's vector, uh, so you get the, the flickeries. Oh, explosions happening in the background? Nothing wrong with that, okay. Even give you a little step stool to stand on if you're not tall enough. The beautiful slim Tubin arcade cabinet that features all buttons. All buttons. Maybe you played this on the NES, but in the arcade it's all buttons. You play Space Invader? Well, got the left and right to move you around and shooting your laser, of course. Stargate, another classic. This game's super neat. I wish this came to consoles. SCI, Special Crime Investigation, uh, because it plays like a OutRun style game. I'm not gonna be able to play it and hold the thing with one hand here, but. Karen, Roger. I'll sure try though. So you have your steering wheel down here, but then also while you're driving, you got your shifting gears and you're also shooting your gun. Ah. So yeah, you, you, you get you get the idea here. You get the idea. So you're tracking down the enemy here and stuff, and you just gotta get there first. Nah, that's not a good idea. Double Dragon, a classic. Karate Champ. I like Karate Champ in the arcade. Now I still have nostalgic memories playing it on the NES, 
but for some reason it's just so much funner in the arcade and the fact that the arcade game you're actually fighting for a girl it's a different girl in each stage that's kind of fun and there's more moves in the arcade that you can do on the nes version but yeah what are you gonna do this right here is the classic row all my favorites down here commando kung fu master over here centipede bump and jump love bump and jump in the arcade Love Root Beer Tapper. As it stands right now, I have the high score. We'll see if somebody beats my high score by the end of the weekend. 1943, Yar Kung Fu, POW, Bionic Commander, there's a Play Choice 10 down there, as well as Miss Pac-Man Phoenix. Track and Field, Time Pilot, even Gyrus, that's right. To go along with those, you also have this, and this. Got some more arcade games down here too. Some Fighters, some Neo Geo, a couple more gun games down here as well, including Ninja Assault, that's a game I'm looking forward to playing here in a second. Got the classic Lethal Enforcers, even Super Street Fighter 2. And at the end, you gotta recognize this one? That's right. Tekken 3, here we go. It's nice too, the hospitality they van to like shuffle the guests and stuff around is that brown van back there. Bunch of great pinball too from our friends from Stern. This is a, a bet from Tilt Amusements. Looks like Tilt provided these. Guardians of the Galaxy is a super fun one, one of my favorites. Had a lot of fun with Led Zeppelin as well. Rush, yeah, they're all good. Even Jurassic Park down here. But the one to play is Godzilla. Oh my God, such a fun one. This is more uh, console free play tournaments. Got things on the big screen in the back too. This game is gonna be action packed. And that the free play classic consoles as well, as well as modern consoles too. Gives you a chance to actually play an Intellivision if you've never played an Intellivision. You know, or play something on the Atari 2600 or the ColecoVision if you never had the chance growing up. You wanna see what Donkey Kong looked like on the Atari 2600? There you go. Play some Donkey Kong in the Atari 2600. I think I'll play a little bit of that here right quick. You always hear about how awesome this game is, Alien vs. Predator. You can actually play one now. Nice that they have the uh, four player multiplayer. Four player multiplayer. GoldenEye and Mario Kart. Kind of a neat idea with these, um, you know, the, the kind of the free play consoles. Just get the multi-card. Multi-card has all the games you need on there. Yeah, that'll work. Here's what else in this place is. Not just a 3DO. Two 3DOs, what? Is it, uh, What did you do to your DS game? Look at this. We, we, we found it on the, on the road somewhere. We picked <laughs> it up. I don't know what it is. But there's no label. There's no label. I mean, this was the label right here. Okay, well, that's where it used to be. That's where it used to be. I had so. no idea if you could solve the mystery. Okay, could be um, Pokemon. Could be Pokemon. Could be. It could be Barbie's Dream Adventure. We don't know. Right. It could be. It could, I mean, how many of those babies games were there? I mean, it was like, what were like the the, the real real life uh, something or other. <laughs> and then this is the crew. Oh my God! Can you rip these games out? Can I rip the games? Can you, can you preserve them or do whatever you Maybe. want? Maybe. What, what's on there? I have no idea. They're in <laughs> Japanese. Well, I so, see that. So I think I think one of them is a like an air fighter game or something. Okay. I mean, tried translating them. Interesting. Not good at that. All right. Well, I'll, I'm, I'll have a look. Along with these games that are broken. You said this game is broken, but this game doesn't work like it should. doesn't work like it should. Yeah. So I'm curious to know what's going to happen here when I pop that in. And this you found for what, four bucks? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know. I mean, I love these bootleg multi carts, but this one is a 72 pin and not a 60 pin. So this one actually, I'll show you. So it's not Famicom. It's the same as NES. So I'm curious to see what it looks like when you pop it in, but. I, I don't mean, have a top, but down, we'll see. So oh, okay. Well, I get that. Yeah. I'll, I'll check it out. I sh made this during COVID shutdown. Sure. I've been doing comics for a long time. Yeah. And we were just playing blocks with my kids, like right here. And uh, oh, there you we go. Were, we, we was like, oh, well, this is this guy, and this is this guy. Oh, so you made a you. So we made a comic out of it. That's a what a great idea, though. You're just making these random things with blocks, and you just, I love this. I love the guy who's missing his head there. Right, 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 right. It's this, <laughs> this dude right here, man. I know, I know. Right, That's, right, right. I, I totally see it. Yeah. What a great idea. Oh, I'm looking, I'm going to read this on the flight on the way home. I, I hope you have fun. <laughs> Pulling something out of the pocket here. I don't know. I'm scared now. Wait a minute. You make these? Whoa. What? That's amazing. You make these, huh? Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, come on. That's insane. Oh, you have a hook on there. Like a, like a, like a Christmas ornament? Is that what you're doing here? <laughs> you make your own Christmas ornament arcade machines. There we go. I want a bigger one. Put it right as a star instead, you know? Turn that sucker on. Get the real one here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. How does this even work? I got the high score, but it doesn't show up as the high score. Those jerks. Come on. I got the high score in Phoenix. That's my score. It's not even showing up as a high score. Can I hit that button again? No, oh, no, no. Okay, now it's on there. Now I see it. Fine. Come on, sharpshooter. Ah, almost. Lame. Wow. 
watch this. Here's the best part, ready? Look at the big head, I love it. I got another lady, ready? Look at the big head, I love it. Another little lady, added to my collection, three wins in a row, oh, watch out now, boom. Nope, nothing to do, didn't quite do it, okay. I got this one as well, I missed the video for the last one, but I got this one as well. I also have the high score. Oh, I get to do this again. Wapow! Lame. Another lady to add to my collection. And pow! Nope. <laughs> Where are we at? Seventh stage now? Good lord. Here's the seven. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Do I need to say it? Another lady! What? And oh, I hate this one. I'm gonna die. Ooh. Nope. All right, I didn't quite beat the guy the last thing, but got the high score, so I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, number one. Day two of Music City Multicon, and this thing is still not looking at me. Can I peek? Can I peek around a little bit? A little bit? You see, Warren, the idea would be to stack your books like the Qbert stacking blocks, I think, as it would, I don't, I don't know if there's a special way to do that or anything without having them all fall over. It's a great idea. The problem, though, is that it would discourage people from actually taking a book up. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? It's such a beautiful work of art. Be like, be like the sitcom where you it. take the thing on the bottom, they all come crumbling down, you know? Right. So, all right. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. They're taking care. They're getting rid of it. Oh, wait. Okay, so it was over there, and I thought they moved it out of the way, but they moved it. Oh, there's that guy. No, now, now it's over there, but not looking at me so much anymore, so I'm okay with that. This guy's also not looking at me, so it's okay. I'm not even sure what it is. So I, I found this through a collector in Nashville. Okay. I thought it was weird to find it in Nashville. And Riff signed it. It's the Retro Liberty game. Oh, okay. So I was going to get you to sign it as well, so I could just have everybody involved on the card. Oh. So the, the guy That's was old school. Man, this is... I haven't, I haven't made this in probably five years. That's probably about how old this is. I can I can even tell by my uh, label job. Man, I haven't seen this in forever. I even, this is back when I used to like destroy old video games to make repros too. I can tell by the uh, cart condition and everything. Oh my god, this is yeah, this is old school. There's, there's literally my soldering job on the inside of this. That's that crazy. Awesome. That's yeah, that's cool. Very Such cool. a fun game too. If you're looking for some odd stuff, I love odd stuff. You, I love odd stuff. So <laughs> what you want to do is you want to go just next door over. There's a okay. Guy, got a ton of Famicom stuff. I just got Paper Eye Warriors for right. five bucks. Oh, a lot of really cool stuff over there. I love Famicom. A lot of the stuff that you just can't find anywhere else out here. All right. Right over there. It's all hidden back behind though, so you got to check it Interesting. out. Interesting. All right. Yes, we're looking. We're looking out for each other, man. That's, That's what, what it's all about. about. That's what it's hey, all about. Jinx. We haven't kind of looked the same. Wait a minute. Yeah, Hold I know. On. It's a bit the shininess. Uh, it really is. So, yeah. it's, you know. Bird. Where's the bird? Right there. Right on top of the thing. Oh, it just flew away. It flew away. No. There's a bird somewhere flying around. I want to find the bird. Oh, I miss, said I missed him now. Uh, we'll, we'll find him again. I'll be good. Thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Now, what could I possibly be doing? with five copies of The Legend of Zelda. You'll find out very soon. I'm happy about this, but let's go find this uh, Tumblr booth that has Famicom games in the back. I'm curious about that. All right, this has, has to be the Tumblr. Oh, ta-da! All right, let's have a look. Oh, yes, hell yeah. All right, Spartan X. This is Kung Fu for the NES. We have things like this guy, okay. Mario Kart, oh, come on. That's kind of a cool thing to see, Cobra Command. I love the NES version. Cool to see on a Famicom cart. This, double back for the something. Radio Shack. Dark Cavern for television, I guess. There's some interesting things here. This is, oh man, just for the collection. I mean, I don't need one, but nice to have. Oh, check this out. Super Tech Mobile, or Tech Mobile Super Bowl, rather for the Famicom in the box. Yeah, there's some there's some interesting things in here. Star Blaze, fun, fun. Push and Boots. I wonder what this game is, it'd be a $42 Sunsoft game. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. 28 bucks for Gradius 2. Let me consider that. I don't have that, I don't have that one for the Famicom, but it's like such, such a fun game. That's right, I said such a, such a fun game. So such a fun game, it's two suches. Ah, what's this one? 
Uh, oh, uh, must be Clash of Demon Head, guessing? All the random boxes of cords and cords and stuffs. Oh, yeah, the uh, Asmic Boomer or whatever. All right, there's some there's some fun things in here. Oh, you talk about old school. Jumpman Jr. There we go. That's the game right there. There's like just random stuff back here too. See? They put it all in back, hidden from everyone. So maybe we'll find something cool. And we found a bunch of stuff that's cool. I thought it was Chrono Trigger for a second. Like Shadowgate. 11 for Shadowgate. I don't know, man. Mm. Oh, we just talked about this on a video recently. Less than 10 bucks. Yeah, what is 10 bucks? <laughs> Oh, funny, I just ordered this online. That same variant, too. Oh, Mutant Virus. Here's one you don't see too often. I think, obviously, you have a store, and they just brought in some inventory, which isn't bad, but here's, you know, a couple of CIB games in pro wrestling. For... There's no label on it, no sticker. There's a manual in there. You can tell just by feeling it. Is this a... No, it's not sealed. This is bent. <laughs> UN Squadron. Okay. Well, this is fun to see all the same. Here we go. Famicom Detective Club. How much I got for DuckTales? Oh! And here's another Legend of Zelda. You know, I am looking for more copies of Legend of Zelda. This is 40. Mm. All right. All right. Well, cool to see all the same. Some for IBM. Got more stuff down here, too. Well, <laughs> I might come back and dig around a little bit longer later. You know, you've made it when you got Prince of the Chosen. Have you seen this show yet? Some nice prints here. They're double sided. They're Watch out now. Uh oh. We found him. And he's right. He's hanging out with me. I know. He's posing. Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was tired. Come back. Come back. Where'd you go? Oh, come on now. I had a friend for a second. Ba da ba. Ba da ba ba da ba da ba. I'm just humming something because I can't exactly remember how the song goes. But is this like a whole collection? Is this like is this a complete collection here? Um, no, some of them are on my vest. Oh, I see. So I have like a couple <laughs> of them that are on my vest that I never got doubles of. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's the one I figured you would want the most. I was gonna say I might I might grab yeah I might have to go with Amazon here. Oh yeah, I remember these. I remember this. Funny. I love it. Hey, panel, so wonderful. I didn't record it. But thank you for attending the panel if you were there. And I just got to my booth and I just realized I still have my stuff closed down. So now would be a good time to shop around a little bit and let's see what we can find. Because a lot of these booths I didn't get a chance to see until they're all set up. Got kind of the, uh, the artist's alley here. All the way down the way here we have like, you know, some of the great artists. This guy as well. Oh, these are some great looking posters. Went straight to that Akira one, very first one I saw. It's kind of fun to have here at any convention, really. You know, I was looking at the um, the Chosen prints over there, but look at all the manga. It's just shells and boxes and... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm down for all the manga, for sure. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. You did that? Did you do that all yourself? Uh, Mostly. Okay. Grandpa. The, old, the old Atari pumpkin, I love it. It, it probably, it's probably it, There's enough power in a pumpkin to probably play some of those Atari games, too, so... <laughs> I love the Fluffies. I love this one. I love all of them. I love piles of fluffies. Give me the puffy fluffy. We were just talking about Garbage Pail Kids. There's some old school Garbage Pail Kids stuff, man. I remember seeing these dollar books. Well, I do like my dollar games, but I'm down for dollar books as well. Just down the way, got the Mad Magazine. I was a huge fan of Mad Magazine. These are from way back. Way back in the day, Mad Magazines. Look at this. Back when they were 40 cents each. April of 72. What well, if they had the uh, Nintendo one? Oh, I liked Cracked also. Okay, there's other stuff in here too. Okay. Ah, oh, very cool. I love that. This like chain mail. It's like that chain. chain mail. Dude, that's amazing. I've never even heard of this. I've never... <laughs> it's all chain. Yep. Ah, oh, it's great. Never, no, literally, never seen that before. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Again. I, yes, that's right. Yeah, pumpkin King, three thousand two hundred and ninety-five rings. I'd hate to. The fact that you counted them all. It's <laughs> just math. Is it really? Oh, so you just you kind of know just by looking at it, no, no, just or number, just by doing it. Number of rows. Okay. Here's a CDI. I'll take that. It's a fun idea. Fifty cents. You get a die. Could be any of them. Here's a fun time here. Oh, Love that. I like that they have some. No varieties here. Change that shirt. That shirt's perfect the way it is. Uh, this shirt right here, 
this uh, beat em up shirt. It was a, a magnificent shirt. It's a pretty nice shirt, but I'm rocking. I'm rocking the real shirt here. Oh, no, that's that's the shirt. Oh, the Huff Manley shirt. This Huff Manley shirt that you got on Pro Wrestling Tees. Exclusively at Pro Wrestling Tees dot com slash Huff like Manley. I'm guessing. Like oh my god! Let's see. Look at this one. My goodness. I know. The fanciness. Oh. Yeah. Just a bunch of sexy shirts around yeah, here. Yeah, it, it's, it's magnificent. It really is. It's really good shirts. That's right, yeah. ProWrestlingTees.com, apparently. Huff Bandley. Huff Bandley. It says it's hot, and we will see... Oh, what did you get? Did you get the medium? I or got what the you... medium. I got the medium. You can crank it up here. Yeah. Oh, no, is this, is, that's the hottest? That's the hottest? Oh, yeah. No, come on. You don't have to burn yourself. <laughs> Wait for it. He's on camera. He's I'm, on I'm camera. waiting for the Garage Bill Kids atom bomb head explosion there. How about... It's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. But you do this often enough. This is like your favorite, right? Yeah. Okay. This is, this is my, my standby when I come to Nashville. Is, is the Nashville hot chicken. And you got it hot, again, with the nuclear... Uh... The, the nuclear option. Right. All right, I'm looking forward to trying that here. All right, I got it hot. First time ever, Hattie B's. I like hot, I like heat. I got this, I got the, got the, got the dark leg here. <laughs> Don't die right now. Please don't die. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah. It's it's hot enough. It's prepared wonderfully too because you get the whole quarter. I got fries on the side to kill it. Got the banana pudding because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> the grits. I don't know. I, my fingers are already. I'm up for the challenge. I'll do at least that side. This oh. is the nuclear blast. This is the. You didn't have to sign <laughs> a waiver like up. someplace. So what's it called? Yeah, shut, the shut the clock up. Shut the clock up is the name of this. Shut the clock up. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. We're all staring at you. <laughs> it's still got flavor though. No, I, it has some flavor. Rich on standby. I'm not, yeah, I'm not breathing fire or anything. I just realized my, I'm empty. I'm oh, my no. beer, so I can't. Oh no! It's fine. No, it's. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not from the heat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, it's. I'm inhaling. It's the fumes I'm inhaling. Yeah. It, so He's it's not, not the crying. flavor, it's not the heat. <laughs> it's the fumes are coming back up, and all I have is my delicious banana pudding. <laughs> my banana pudding. <laughs> it's, it's very doable. Get a little light show next door. We just, we just came back from Hattie B's. We're going to go back to the convention right now. Uh, Nintendo has a panel about game creating and stuff, but look at this. It's kind of a fun little thing next door. I love that. Now this is the hotness for the Music City Multicon. The Grand Ogre Pinball. All kinds of pinball tournaments happening in here, too. Great games back here, man. It's just another feature that they have here. I love it. Here's a great one here, too. Tales from the Crypt. It's not turned on right now, but just love the uh, love the art on that guy. And Black Rose is great because it has the part where you have to, like, fire the cannon, and then the cannon fires, like, straight ahead down the way. When you walk in, it's... All of this. I haven't really looked over here yet. That's the way to do it. Just have a good old projector. That way everyone can see what's going on. Hard to avoid these guys from anywhere you are. And all these people are here. So there's all esports, you know, esports e e going on right here. Oh, I just, I just heard some who's in here. Tell me about the one. Uh, so cool. Something happening way over there too. A lot of these people are are here just for the tournaments, just for the esports. I'm here to tell you. If you're a video game convention and you're not doing esports yet or bringing in someone to do esports for you, you may be missing out on the opportunity. But there's people here. They're not here for the vendors. They're not here for the panels. They are here just for the esports and supporting their teams. And man, it's, it's crazy to see. I love seeing it. I'm back at the arcade and they reset the high score. I don't have the high score anymore, but I still have the best high score from yesterday, so I'll take that. Along the way, they installed my favorite arcade game, Food Fight. Well, it's not my favorite favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorites. The idea with Food Fight is you have to avoid the chefs and throw the food at them and make your way over to the ice cream, and you do the little the big old But I'm telling you, oh, this is, this is gonna be good. Here we go, kick it. I love the quality of good games they have out here. Rastin for the Sega Master System. Streets of Rage, a classic. This is Streets of Rage 2. Knuckles Chaotix for the 32X. Come on now. Come on, man. Die Hard Arcade, love it. This is the Sega CD version of Final Fight. My favorite version right there. A couple of great TurboGrafx-16 games too. We've got Splatterhouse. We got Legendary Axe. And again, so many more games. 
all free to play. We need the Neo Geo and all that. Quick stop at the QT, which stands for Quick Trip, apparently. This may be one of the cleanest gas stations I've ever been in. And everything's nice and laid out, I love it. I've heard this name brand's pretty good. I think I've had them maybe somewhere else. Oh, definitely this one, the Crab Chip. I am the disappoint, no Tasty Cakes. I do not have my Chocolate Bell from Tasty Cakes. I've noticed I eat more junk food and other random food whenever I travel to these conventions. Day three, and I'm going through, oh, and here's a 2X. These are the last year and the previous year's shirts that are left over. So they just have a big old bucket of them up front. Doll, I'm not kidding when I say, here it is, where is it, where is it, where is it? I love my $5 shirts, Five, $5 shirts, $5 games, look at that. It was usually called, it was used to be called the Grand Old Opry, no, Grand Old Game Room. It's a Grand Old Game Room, it's a high flying game room. And now we're finding, this is the good quality, you got the good stuff here. I cannot handle the other stuff. You cannot handle the other stuff, uh, says the uh, cool organizer there. A little bit more Nashville colors here. Grand, because, yeah, Music City Multicon used to be the grand old game room. Here, show me the design. <laughs> good catch. The old pinball design. I love it. I'm going to be wearing that for sure. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the free shirts. Oh, yes. You, you keep on moving out of my camera, dude. Stop oh, it. Sorry, sorry. When comes Sunday, comes the Sunday deals. What do we got for $2 here? You know, this, this is actually a good game for $2. Got Nintendo World Cup, which is a uh, Technos game. It's the Kunio soccer game. And then Super Spike V-Ball is actually a really fun volleyball game. So for two bucks, not bad. Two dollars for Blades of Steel? Come on, man. Whenever I see this game, I'm always like, ooh, Super Metroid. No, it's a uh, NCAA. Track and field, double dribble. Those are good two dollar games. This is two dollars? Dude. I'll wait till the doors open. If it's still there, I'm grabbing me a two dollar Time Lord. Do I need a 19th copy? Yes. This is for you, sir. Oh, I love it! Look at that! It's even it's it's even the me. It's you. It's the me version because I, I don't yes. I don't glue it to my face. I just hold it up for photos. That's right. Oh, you got my dad bod perfectly too. He's shorter than you. <laughs> Have to use a lot of paper to make it like full size, right? Right. <laughs> awesome. This is great. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. I love this. Thank you. Oh man, yeah, that pizza, that pizza van's kind of tilted there a little bit. There's actually a really good pizza down there too. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, this 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 pizza was. That was really good. You don't think too much about convention pizza, but this convention pizza is legit. Has a, the crispy crust on the outside a little bit. Made fresh right there. Listen. A little bit of a crunch. Time where conventions are coming to a slow. And it's going to be my time to do some shopping while I get a chance. Got to find some stuffed animals. You got to find an enamel pin. I'm pretty sure I can't leave without this guy. I've never seen one of these at a convention and they're so squishy. <laughs> It's the squishy. Oh, here we go, got the Ghostbusters. Including the real Ghostbusters. Along with Beetlejuice and stuff like that. I found some enamel pins, let's see what we can find. These are pretty good. These are pretty, oh, that's kind of fun. These are pretty good. Like that one, frog in the car. And what do we got here? Oh, okay. There we go. Some more pins here. That's kind of a fun one. Okay, they wanted a, one of these for their backpack, so. Cute, pushing boots. Is it messy? To the moon. You want the green? <laughs> Could maybe the poison. <laughs> Is anything blue in my Oh. Um. It's gotta be that one. Let's see it, Nessie. Oh, that's not bad. All right. I'm a I'm a huge believer in her. She she's real. Ugh, this thing's still here. You know, I wouldn't mind finding another pin, maybe. Onigiri. Oh, a few more pins. Fewer enamel pins. I mean, I like the one I got, but I wouldn't mind grabbing another. Like I said. Uh, you know, maybe. <laughs> that was kind of fun. That one's fun. All right. This is like convention camouflage, though, really. Yeah, that's true. I just like stand up on a wall of like. Again, love the fact that they have a VR set up here. Got PlayStation VR. There's also a, there was like a Vive or something earlier too. That was set up. That was oh that was set up way over here. That, that's the VR uh, the Vive stuff, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> but do you have the box for it? But I don't have that box. It's an awesome box. Yeah, I know. So that's that's why you get this one with the box, and you yeah. sell the one you already do have, and you only have the one. I do like they have like VHS and stuff here. One of my favorite things is. All right, take care, dude. Hi, thank you. I like this guy here. 